Before we begin the ceremony, let me remind you to turn your cell phones off and to be courteous to those around you by refraining from talking loud. I'm delighted to be here for the 2018-2019 commencement exercise. Today is a day of rejoicing, for it marks the first step every student must undertake to open up to another important stage of their lives. This evening has been set aside to celebrate the accomplishments and academic achievements of all our graduates. I am proud to announce that we have special guests who have joined us to mark this special occasion. They are Mr. Joseph Lala, our Commissioner, Ms. Tani McDonald, Chair of Learning Board as well as PPO. <laughs> Mr. Ron Patterson, Member Representative of the PSBGM Cultural Heritage Foundation. <laughs> Ms. Haley Jewell, Alternate Regional Delegate Parent Committee and Governing Board Member. a longtime sponsor for the generous donation of the Bardash Scholarship. <laughs> to officially open our program, I would like everyone to stand up to sing our national anthem, O Canada. <laughs>
Our lunch monitors, Ms. Alice Camargo, Ms. Aileen Sunak, Ms. Joy London, Ms. Sofita Hackshaw, Ms. Nakisha Robinson, Ms. Kim Marshall, Ms. Nancy Weisengel, Ms. Vera Amrova, Ms. Dimitri Vlitas Contamakilis, Ms. Gail Jordan, Ms. Lucy Nightingale Oliver, and Ms. Emily Musgrave. Our breakfast program coordinator, Ms. Ava Joseph. Our tutors, Ms. Lucy Nightingale Oliver, Ms. Emily Musgrave, Ms. Dimitri Vlitas Contamakilis, Ms. Carolyn Bicara, and Ms. Maria Pifalo. Our secretarial staff, Ms. Cassandra Tedeschi and Ms. Joanne Hall. Our caretakers, Mr. John Metz, Mr. Alex Keres-Dios, and Mr. Sam Mavrukas. Let's take a moment in thanking all faculty members for teaching your child to take responsibility for their actions and consequences teaching your child to critically appreciate their own culture, personal history, as well as the values and traditions of others. Teaching your child empathy, compassion, and respect. Teaching your child to work independently and cooperatively. Teaching your child to understand their strengths and weaknesses in order to support their learning and personal development. Thank you. There is one faculty member who I haven't called upon yet. Before I do, I would like to take a moment to properly introduce her. Over the last several years, St. Monica School has witnessed many members from the administration team come and go. All past administrators place their own personal touch, beliefs, and vision to make St. Monica's school great. This year, St. Monica School was fortunate enough to receive an administrator who consistently pays attention, builds character, inspires dreams, encourages creativity, builds confidence, looks out for the best interest of all her students, is supportive to her staff members, is supportive to the parent body, has brought in several programs to enrich the daily lives of all students, has increased the number of extracurricular activities that all students benefited from, and she has created a partnership with McGill University and its affiliates. Without further ado, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Ms. Savannah Crinia for all the hard work and endless hours she has placed to make St. Monica an excellent school. I would now like to welcome Ms. Crinia to the podium uh, to welcome the parents and address the graduates. Good evening, honored guests, Mr. Lala, parents, staff, 2019 graduates. I would like to express congratulations to our students and their families on behalf of Ms. Nicola Topolis, our regional director. I am delighted you are all here this evening. As principal, it's moments like this that remind us that success is not only validated by commitment, but by a collective dedication to lifelong learning and helping students reach their potential. Desire to go beyond the obvious, engagement, perseverance, courage and strength, the combined forces of student success and exceeding all expectations. Students, what feels like the end is often the beginning. Your elementary years have been the starting point of your academic journey, and it is also the experience that has prepared you for your new beginnings. High school is fun, it's exciting. It can be challenging, and it is the beginning of paving your way to your future profession. Your moments of learning, of creativity, of experiencing the unknown, and of solidifying your dreams 
will be remembered for the rest of your life. I stand proud before you, for I am honored to have been witness to your abilities, to see you evolve into young people, eager to be your best, to seek new ways to make you better, to observe the staff at St. Monica, guide your way and support you through your learning was a treat each day. Your progress turned into mastery of skill and eagerness to be the best that you can be. You are great role models for the rest of the school. Thank you. There is a story I would like to share, a moment in time. Sometimes in the daily challenges that life gives us, we miss what is really important. We may fail to say hello, to say please, or thank you. Congratulate someone on something wonderful that has happened to them. Give a compliment or just do something nice. One day, when Plum and his wife were sitting in a restaurant, a man at another table came up and said, You're Plum. You, you flew jet fighters in Vietnam from the aircraft carrier Kitty Hawk. You were shot down. How in the world did you know that? asked Plum. I packed your parachute, the man replied. Plum gasped in surprise and gratitude. The man pumped his hand and said, I guess it worked. Plum assured him, it sure did. If your chute hadn't worked, I wouldn't be here today. Plum couldn't sleep that night, thinking about that man. Plum says, I kept wondering what he might have looked like in a navy uniform. A white hat, a bib in the back, and bell-bottom trousers. I wonder how many times I might have seen him and not even said good morning, or how are you, or anything else. Because you see, I was a fighter pilot, and he was just a sailor. Plum thought of the many hours the sailor had spent on a long wooden table in the bowels of the ship, carefully weaving the shrouds and folding the silks of each chute, holding in his hands each time the fate of someone he didn't know. Now Plum asks his audience, who's packing your parachute? Everyone has someone who provides what they need to make it through the day. Plum also points out that he needed many kinds of parachutes when he, his plane was shot down over enemy territory. He needed his physical parachute, his mental parachute, his emotional parachute, and his spiritual parachute. He called on all these supports before reaching safety. His experience reminds us all to prepare ourselves to weather whatever storms lie ahead. As you go through this week, this month, this year, recognize people who pack your parachute. Teachers, specialists, technicians, childcare workers, front office staff, daycare staff, lunch monitors, caretakers, tutors, volunteers. This is a proud moment and I wish to thank each one of you for your contributions to our graduates' success for packing our students' parachutes. Each year, we set our objectives based on Henry Ford's words. Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success. Congratulations on the labor of love. You have all made a difference. Graduating class of 2019. Follow your passion. It will lead you to your purpose. We wish you everything that you so richly deserve in the years ahead. Ms. Venuda will now lead us through the presentation of the graduates. But first, let's take a moment to listen to the wonderful steel pan performance by our Cycle 3 students led by Ms. Fatima Wilson.
Michaela Cartier. Amadeo Di Santo.
Yun Sun Kim.
one may ask, what are the qualifications? Well, it's simple. They must exhibit a positive attitude, a willingness to experiment, has a drive to be challenged, an optimistic perspective, a connection to others, and a hard worker. I am proud to present you this evening, Ms. Nevea Rostolfi, our valedictorian for 2019. I would like to thank the principal, Ms. Sylvia Kregna, for making the graduation happen, and I would like to thank her for supporting all the grade 6 students. I would like to give a special thanks to my mom. She has been helping me and supporting me from the beginning. She has also been guiding me and making me the, the right decisions. I would like to wish all my fellow graduates a, good, a very good time in high school. I hope you guys all succeed and are all able to become the best of you. Thank you and I hope you enjoy the rest of this day. Uh, 
presenting the Ultimate Math League Certificate to Lea Emanuele. to explain 
the PSPGM Cultural Heritage Foundation Scholarship Award. PSBGM Cultural Heritage Foundation is a non-profit corporation established in May of 1980 under the Canada Corporations Act. The primary purpose of the foundation was to maintain and promote a collection of paintings donated to the foundation by the Protestant School Board of Greater Montreal in the early 1980s. This collection had been acquired over a period of time through generous donations of various benefactors as well as the purchase of some. During the 1930s, in particular, some parents and alumni wished to recognize individual schools with a gift of a work of art. These paintings generally related to works of art by relatively young and up-and-coming Canadian artists. The paintings included works by Anne Savage, A.Y. Jackson, Robert Pilot, Lorne Bouchard, Maurice Coulin, Frédéric Coburn, and others. In 2013, the Foundation undertook to sell the greater part of the collection with a view to establishing a scholarship fund for the students of the English Montreal School Board and to donate some of the works of art to museums. The Foundation, in concert with the EMSB school administrators, has established the general guidelines which provide for the recognition of excellent academic achievement or perseverance against overwhelming odds. Scholarships are awarded to deserving students in all sectors of the EMSB. Elementary school recipients of the scholarships are each awarded a $200 scholarship, while high school and adult education recipients are each awarded a 1,500 scholarship. The Foundation will be awarding over $92,000 in scholarships this year. The Foundation has been awarding scholarships since 2014, and as of this academic year, the Foundation will have awarded in excess of $308,000. Thank you. Mr. Ron Patterson to the front of the stage to present three PSPGM Cultural Heritage Foundation Scholarship Awards to Angel Limayna Katrina Provo,
Michaela Cartier. Mr. George Bardash, I would like to recognize Mrs. Avis Joseph for her contributions each day as our breakfast program coordinator, as well as for the work she does to find sponsors such as Mr. Bardash to help our students. Your leadership, dedication, and commitment to taking care of our students each day and beyond is inspiring. It is a privilege to work with you, and I look forward to many more years of collaboration. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. George Bardush is responsible for providing St. Monica with the Bardush Bursary. He is a lifelong resident of NDG. He is a full scholarship student of Loyola High School, a graduate of McGill University with a degree in engineering, owner, operator of tax accounting business on Summerlin Avenue since 1984. He has been very busy. He has already filed over 2,700 Canadian and U.S. tax reports in 2019. On behalf of the St. Monica community, we wish to thank you for your generosity and providing a graduating student with a thousand dollar bursary to help them in their future, future studies. Mr. Bardash, please come up to present the bursary. The bursary goes to Nevea Rastal. <laughs> What lies ahead will always be a mystery. Do not be afraid to explore. When life pushes you over, you push back harder. Where there are choices to make, make the one you won't regret. Why things happen will never be certain. Take it in stride and move forward. It has been a memorable graduation ceremony full of emotion, celebration, and inspiration. Students, always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. Darcy, 
Michaela, Daniela, Mark, Josiah, Nevia, Yebin, Amadeo, Omari, Leah, Anthony, Hannah, Yunseo, Kawan, Yeonseong, Benoit, Angel, Justin, Sienna, Catalina, Yubin, Alexa, Katrina, Nevea, Julio. You are loved at St. Monica and always welcome. Wishing you many, many happy moments this summer and in the years to come. Parents, thank you for allowing us to be a part of your children's journey and academic accomplishments. I wish to express gratitude to our grade six parent graduation committee for their contribution to the planning of our students' party, decorating skills, and ensuring that great moments are created. I also want to take a moment to thank Ms. Venuta for her support and dedication to working with me and the staff to ensure that students' learning experience are the best that they can be. Ensuring the staff receives the tools and resources they need to make a difference. I appreciate everything that you do and you, the care that you show for the well-being of the staff and students each day. Thank you. Thank you for being our Master of Ceremony this evening, and I invite you to conclude the official graduation ceremony. graduates class of St. Monica School. We now invite all family members, graduates, guests, and faculty members to light refreshments and cake being served at the back of the gymnasium. Thank you for making your way over in an orderly fashion so that our staff members can serve you. Thank you once again.